If you're not following up, you're leaving money on the table. You're a voice actor. You're an entrepreneur. You're a VOpreneur. Welcome to the Everyday VOpreneur Podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. Your number one marketing tool is your voiceover demos. When you're posting them online, you want to be sure they're playable on any device and with any browser. The Voice Sam Player does exactly that. Sign up at msvo.me slash msvoicesam and receive three months of Voice Sam for the price of one. Sign up now at msvo.me slash msvoicesam. The Veopreneur Podcast. Hey, it doesn't suck. Not as funny as Conan. Not as cute as Seth Meyers. Not as smart as Colbert. But he's one of us, and that counts for something. Here's Mark Scott, the original everyday Veopreneur. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Everyday Veopreneur Podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. The objective of this podcast is simple, to help you become a better Veopreneur. You're an entrepreneur, you're a voice actor, you're a Veopreneur. But running a business doesn't always come naturally to voice actors, and so the purpose of this podcast is to help make it come a little bit more naturally by offering you advice that is going to help you grow your business. Recently, my wife and I had a movie night. No kids at home, nice quiet night, ordered in some pizza, sat down and flipping through all the different movies that were available to us, and we decided to watch The Greatest Showman. If you haven't seen it, absolutely fantastic movie with Hugh Grant, and it is about P.T. Barnum. Now, for those of you not familiar with P.T. Barnum, you might recognize the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus, which I remember going to when I was a kid. P.T. Barnum generally considered to be an incredible showman. Now, a lot of controversy surrounds P.T. Barnum, and that is not anything that I am interested in getting in, but you can't deny the fact that he was really good at what he did, that he was an incredible showman, and he knew how to be successful in business. Fascinated by watching this movie, which I could probably sit down and watch 10 more times and and just not get tired of it because it was an incredible movie. As soon as the movie was over, I did what I often do when I watch movies that are based on people that are actual, real people. I went on Amazon, and I did a search to see what books there might be out there about P.T. Barnum. And I ended up picking up a book that P.T. Barnum wrote back in 1880, and it was called The Art of Money Getting, or Golden Rules for Making Money. Again, written in 1880. Now, the thing that is really nice about this book is it's actually a very quick, very easy read. Uh, You know, it's like 75 or 80 pages or something like that. And despite the fact that it was written in 1880, I still found that a lot of the principles that he teaches in the book still stand true to this day. And so if you're looking for a really quick, easy read that is filled with a lot of advice that you can instantly take and apply to your business, it's worth a read. And... I think I paid $1.20 for it when I bought it on Amazon uh, and downloaded it for my Kindle app. But there was one thing that I read in the book that really stood out to me. For any of you who have followed me for any length of time, you have heard me talk about the importance of the follow-up when you are doing your voiceover marketing. I say it just about every day in some form or fashion, whether it is in the Veopreneur Facebook group or posting it on Twitter or saying it in a coaching session or writing it in an email, over and over and over again, I talk about the fact that the success is in the follow-up, that it is absolutely essential for you to have some kind of strategy for consistently staying top of mind with your leads or prospects and clients because the success is in the follow-up. I talk about the fact that I get far more responses to my follow-up email than I ever get from the initial introductory email that I send when I am doing my marketing. You've probably heard me share the statistic that 80% of sales happen between the 5th and the 12th contact. That means that you can't just do this one and done. If you're sending one email and then waiting for voiceover opportunities to come, and voiceover opportunities are not coming, that's the problem. You're sending one email. You are not doing a follow-up. I recently went through an enrollment for the VoiceOver Marketing Playbook, which is my flagship marketing program that only comes out a couple of times a year. So we recently wrapped up the January enrollment. 
And one of the facts that I share when people are thinking about buying the playbook, a lot of people will look at the playbook and consider purchasing the playbook for three times before they finally make the purchase. And what I mean by that is they'll go through three different enrollment periods considering it before they finally make the decision to purchase it. And then those three enrollment periods basically stretch out over the course of a year. And over the course of the year, I'm continually reaching out, continually making touches, continually providing new tips, tricks, advice, insights, whatever it is. But over and over again in my business, not just in voiceover, but in coaching as well, I see that the success is in the follow-up. You have to have a solid strategy for follow-up. So what the heck does this have to do with P.T. Barnum? I want to read you an excerpt from this book. Because as soon as I read it, it just, it struck a chord. Remember, this is 1880 when this book was written. The reader of a newspaper does not see the first mention of an ordinary advertisement. The second insertion he sees, but does not read. The third insertion he reads. The fourth insertion he looks at the price. The fifth insertion he speaks of it to his wife. The sixth insertion he is ready to purchase. And the seventh insertion, he purchases. Now, in the context of this book, B.T. Barnum is talking about the importance of advertising. If you have something of value that you want to sell, then in order to sell that thing, you need to let people know that that thing is there and available for purchase. And so, in 1880, the way that everybody did that was by advertising in the newspaper. And the point that he was making to the people that were reading this book back in 1880 was if you're simply buying one advertisement in the newspaper, or if you're simply advertising for one week in the newspaper, and then wondering why you're not having success, that's the reason why you are not having the success. The first one, they don't even notice. The second one, they see but don't read. The third one, they read. The fourth one, they look at the price. The fifth one, they speak of it with their wife. The sixth one, they're ready to purchase the seventh advertisement, the seventh exposure. That's when they finally make the purchase. So all the way back in 1880, P.T. Barnum was teaching people about the importance of the follow-up. There are a lot of different ways that the follow-up can happen in your voiceover business. Using email is one of those strategies. Taking advantage of free social media tools is another one of those strategies. Using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, all of these are ways that you can keep yourself top of mind with your leads, your prospects, and your clients. Switch the newspaper for pay-per-click advertising. Taking out ads on LinkedIn or on Facebook or on Twitter or using Google AdWords, those are ways that you are keeping yourself top of mind. In the VoiceOver Marketing Playbook, in one of the modules, speaking to the importance of follow-up, I share a screenshot of my email inbox. And in this particular screenshot, you can see a series of emails that began in 2015 before the first booking finally took place in 2018. And that first booking led to a second and to a third and to a fourth. And I have an ongoing client as a result of that. But it took me three years making all of those touches over the span of three years before I finally landed that first gig. And a lot of people will say, but isn't that annoying? Well, no, obviously not, because I ended up booking the job. It was just a matter of timing. It was a matter of being the guy that was top of mind at the time that they needed me. And evidently, that took three years to happen with that particular client. Now, sometimes it only takes a matter of a couple of weeks or a couple of emails. Sometimes it might take a couple of months. Sometimes, yeah, it is about a year before an opportunity presents itself. But the most important thing that I want you to take away from this episode of the podcast is that the success is in the follow-up. And you need to have a strategy that is going to hold you accountable to making those follow-ups on a consistent basis. That's where having a CRM comes into play. That is one of the many advantages that a CRM system is going to bring to your business. If you're not familiar with it, Customer Relationship Management Software. There are so many different CRMs that are out there, and I'm not going to get into that in this episode, but what I want you to understand is that when you put those leads, prospects, and clients into your CRM, 
and you set the automated reminders within that CRM, what is going to happen is every day you're going to log into your CRM and it is going to tell you who you need to get connected with today. It is going to tell you that it is time to reach out to so-and-so because you haven't reached out to so-and-so in a certain amount of time. What it is doing is it is building in those touches. Just like P.T. Barnum talked about seven different advertisements in the newspaper before the sale finally came, we're talking about that five to 12 touches that is required for 80% of sales. You have to have a follow-up strategy. It worked in 1880 for P.T. Barnum, and it is going to work in 2020 for you and your voiceover business. If you're only sending one email and then letting it go, I promise you that you are leaving money on the table. And if your concern is that by sending multiple emails over a span of time that you're going to become annoying, what is the worst thing that is going to happen? They're not going to hire you. Well, let me tell you something. They already weren't hiring you anyway, so you really haven't lost anything. The success is in the follow-up, my friends. Make sure that you have a strategy for keeping yourself top of mind on a regular basis because sometimes it really is just about the timing. When they are looking for a voiceover, you want to be the first person that they are thinking about, and that's how you're going to book the job. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of the podcast. And remember that you can subscribe so you never have to miss one of these episodes ever again. The podcast is available for subscription on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and Podbean. And of course, you can also visit our website at vopreneur.com. Listen to every single episode of the podcast. Download every single episode of the podcast. And while you're there, click the shop button and pick up a voiceover or VOpreneur tee or hoodie for yourself so that you can advertise your business a little bit. And maybe that becomes one of the ways that you start staying top of mind as you wear that shirt or wear that hoodie around in your local community when you're connecting with some of your leads, prospects, and clients on a local level. Thanks so much for listening, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. The Everyday VOpreneur Podcast. Available everywhere fine podcasts are given away for free. Mostly, we think. Your number one marketing tool is your voiceover demos. When you're posting them online, you want to be sure they're playable on any device and with any browser. The Voice Amp Player does exactly that. Sign up at msvo.me slash msvoiceam and receive three months of Voice Amp for the price of one. Sign up now at msvo.me slash msvoiceam. And see. And that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging in. Thanks for hanging out. Want more Vopreneur goodness? Jump online at vopreneur.com.